the road on the Bolivar Ferry today. It's back up and running. He continues our live TN coverage from Bolivar and Brian. How does it look out there? Eric, as you can see behind me, the Bolivar Ferry is open. It is currently running back and forth its usual route, but we've also got more here at this section of the Bolivar Peninsula. We've also got some oil cleanup crews here, but luckily so far, the oil has not made it to this area. With the Bolivar Ferry open once again, tourists get a chance to see up close animals and an oil spill. Those riding the ferry are told not to get out of their cars because oil in the water could create a toxic sea spray as the boat heads for the peninsula. But many are just too curious to miss seeing for themselves the cleanup and containment underway. Once on the island, we find no noticeable signs of oil. Fishermen on the North Jetty say all seems clear for now. No, I didn't see any oil or no signs of it. Booms surround the environmentally sensitive coastline that is home to this large bird sanctuary just behind the North Jetty. We've been trying to keep them out of the water. Will Rainey has lived on Bolivar all his life and has seen some of the spill's effects on area birds. We've had a lot of dead fish come up right around here and some birds with oil in them, some with the bad feet. Rainey feeds these birds every day but now says he hopes that he can help them through this environmental crisis. They leave in the morning like we do. They leave and then they come back. <laughs> some of them maybe made it back and some of them maybe didn't make it back. It's pretty sad. There's also been an environmental and an economic impact here. You see, we talked to some area businesses off camera and they tell us that